Hi guys. Uh, do I have to push something down here? Um, it'll show up up here, and it'll start showing up on here. <laughs> There's a delay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll just, just hang out. Like, hey guys, we're just getting everything set up, making sure that the video is up and you guys can see us. Here, I'll steal this from you sure. for one second. So if you guys can hear us or see us, um, like post a smiley face or a thumbs up so we know that everything's working. Oh, wait. oh no. That's the other one. I wonder if I have to go into something else. Actually, why? Uh... Hmm. Let's see. What? You want to go look and see if I yeah, see Yeah, see if it's doing something on there, please. Because I know there you was an add up to three guests to a broadcast. <laughs> okay, we're not doing that. That's all it says down there. It says okay. live. I know. So are we live? Can you guys see us? Do we need to refresh? I wonder if we need to refresh our oh, feed. Maybe, guys. Let's see. Oh, there we are. I found okay. us. Okay. Hey, guys. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, so there is quite a delay. So we apologize for that, but I mean, I guess that is what it is. That's not on us. But welcome. Um, yeah, so welcome to Sign Signs Everywhere Signs. We have some up already that we're going to be working on today to share with you guys. And we'll give everybody just like a minute or two. We want to be thoughtful of your time and our time. So we'll give you guys some time to. Oh, hello. Hi, Tina. Tina, hello. <laughs> I know who you are now. <laughs> so I guess that's how we see it then. Yeah. That's how we okay. see it. Okay, great. So if you guys have any questions, definitely type in capital letters so that Brandy will kind of like Catch zone on. into that and then we'll be able to answer any questions that you have. But yeah, tonight we're going to go over heat transfer vinyl on wood, um, regular permanent vinyl and removable vinyl along with glitter vinyl on wood and it's going to be really fun so i'm really excited so we'll watch and see <laughs> T hello okay <laughs> <laughs> all right so i think we'll start at three after what time is it two after two after okay we'll give it one more minute because we don't want to like go over too far in our time but i'm really excited so things coming up, we do have, I, I do have videos coming up that I promised you guys for sublimation and they are coming. I just have to get some things done here and get them out. But next week, just to give you a heads up, we are doing sports. So the theme for next week is sports and it's going to be voice, boy sports, girl sports, including baton and Baseball, baseball, majorettes, football. Like we're gonna give you a bunch of different ideas that you can use to um, entertain and to kind of like support your little sports person at home. But if we're at three, three. yep. Okay, we're gonna jump in and get started. So the first project I wanted to make with you guys that I thought would be really fun is these wood rounds. So we're gonna get one started cutting. Um, in the Explore Air 2. And I wanted to just remind you guys, when you cut permanent or heat transfer vinyl, you always put it shiny side down on your mat. And HTV and iron-on is the exact same thing. I just want to stress that. It's basically Cricut came up with the words iron-on because other companies had the word HTV. And they just thought, well, we'll like brand ours for something different. And that's the only reason they did that. So it is a little confusing, but it's the exact same thing. There's no difference. So if you guys watch my video, I talked about these real like mats and they're amazing. They are much cheaper than the Cricut mats. And my job is to tell you guys when I find stuff at a better price. And I want to make sure that you can use your Cricut and not have to spend a ton of money. So I would suggest getting these mats if you need more. But with that being said, we're going to go to our Cricut site and we're going to do a really cute design. Yep. Brandy's doing such a good job. <laughs> <laughs> we prepped on that one though. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to say Little Dreamer. Guys, I'm working on getting cameras to come from the ceiling so you guys can kind of see more close up what we're doing here. But for today, we're just going with what we have. 
So we're gonna go ahead and put this on shiny side down because that's very important when you're cutting. If you flip it over it and cut it on the dull side, it's not, it's not gonna work. So shiny side down. The best way to put your vinyl on your mat is at an angle and start in the left-hand corner, line it up, and just press down. And then it's all lined up for you. It's not crooked, it goes right where it's supposed to. So can you send that to I had the printer? Make it. Click make it. Okay. And you're gonna mirror the image. So anytime you're using HTV or iron-on, you have to mirror the image or when the, it's gonna cut wrong. So it's ready to go, and I'm just gonna slide it into my machine. Should I do continue? Uh-huh. And with my Explore Air 2, I have to set it for um, iron-on. And so it's all set, I have my dial ready to go. And now it says, use your fast mode. If it gives you the option for fast mode, you definitely wanna use that because it makes a cut a little faster, not as fast as the Explore Air 3, but we're gonna talk about that another time. So it's ready to go. Now we're gonna click our C button. And while that is going, Brandy's gonna weed our glitter vinyl for our little girl sign. So let me move this first to give her some room. So it's really, a lot of people didn't know that you can use heat transfer vinyl on wood. And those are some of the best signs that you can make. You can start reading, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me try to do spots here. Yeah, maybe I'll just fade this out. There you go. So in the corner. you can use heat transfer vinyl on wood and it looks beautiful. It's amazing. So whenever you're looking at a project that maybe you see at a store, you see a really cute sign and you think, how can I make that more my style or more for like a little girl's room? Just use the, the glitter vinyl. It just really adds a lot to the design itself. So I'm going to pop back over here to the Facebook page. All right. Oh, and I see Cheryl said hello. Hi, Hi Cheryl. <laughs> So if you got, maybe I'll give you guys a little background as Brandy's doing this. Brandy's kind of semi-new to Cricut. Like we kind of just like met up and I found out she had a Cricut and I was like, oh, we are now BFFs and we're going to hang out all the time and we're going to craft together because none of my friends that live locally craft with me. So I was like, I need somebody that can craft with me. And Brandy and I became friends. And this she is didn't how know we that she'd have to teach me like everything. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. I think it's fun learning from somebody who doesn't know a lot about cricketing that I can help you guys learn while she's learning because I'm like, oh, Brandy doesn't know that it's easier if you pull at an angle. <laughs> I started corner wise. So if you pull for, at an angle, it's easier to remove the vinyl from. Is the this tape. an angle? That's an angle. <laughs> Just checking. So it's easier if you pull at an angle with your vinyl. You didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that. It's all good. So I also am using the um, Easy Press today. I think this is a great project when you're doing um, larger items to use the Easy Press because it's not like you're trying to put it in your actual heat press with an arm down. And it, this is ready. So I'm gonna pull yeah, this one out. Yeah, we don't got all night. You might want to work on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so we can also use, like I said, regular vinyl on your wood projects too. So this one is gonna be super cute for a little boy's room, and that one's gonna be adorable for a little girl's room. But you can take these ideas and make them for anything. So you might want to do like a bohemian um, bedroom piece, and you could do the same thing we're doing with the little girl's. Um, design. So I love when people are just learning how to do the <laughs> project. Yeah. Yes, I don't like, want to leave anything behind. You'll be like, what happened to that? And I'll say, I don't know why you left me in charge of that. It's good. So I just want you guys to be comfortable using your machines. I think it's important that you not be intimidated and always be willing to ask questions. And um, for the price of these machines and the material, you really um, I really want you to get the best use out of them. Not so, imagine. okay, nothing. You're good. Actually, I, I lost the dot. this is sister vinyl that we're using right now. And sister vinyl reads very easy compared to, I think, 
the, even the Cricut vinyl. So it's really easy to do. Some people think that, that weeding is therapeutic. Do you think that way? I think it can be stressful. You think it can be stressful? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So guys, tell me, do you find it easy to weed or is it something that you struggle with? I'm going to tilt this down. Because I know that when I started, like, I couldn't figure out, like, I would always weed the wrong part. So I would have, like, the background and not the actual part that I needed. See, you did it. I'm not done. I'm not gonna done yet. Grab another picker. Okay. So these are weeding tools. Brandy calls them pickers. <laughs> oh, and if you hear that, that is the Easy Press telling me that it's ready to go. And I already have it set for 300 degrees for 40 seconds. That's what Cricut suggests we um, heat it with. And the reason I'm using their um, suggestion is because I, I am using the heat press, the easy press. So in the, like maybe in the future, like a lot of my stuff is already weeded and I'm just going to show you guys how to transfer them. But, um, yeah, let me know. Do you, do you like? She wanted to see me in action. That's I did. Works. I wanted to see Brandy do this. I kind of put her on the spot. I don't know that I've ever seen her weed before. I'm not sure you have either. <laughs> so tell me, do any of you guys have somebody that you craft with? Or are you just kind of like, perfect. Uh -huh. That's perfect. Can we trade you again while you work on this one? Okay. All right. I'll give her all the hard stuff, guys. That kind of worked out for me, right? <laughs> Wait, okay, this stays, I right? That. Let's yeah, go. you have to pull that piece out and then all the innards. I'll put our friends down here. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this design. Am I in a funny way? <gasps> oh, I just dropped my piece that I want. It went that way. But that's okay. We'll go. I'll grab it. it. It's all the way over there. <laughs> Dang. You threw it. You mean you didn't grab So whenever you're putting um, heat transfer vinyl on wood, it sticks. Where if you were trying to put um, permanent vinyl, you wouldn't be able to just peel, like lay it down and peel it off to move it if you didn't like where it landed. So that's why I wanted to use heat transfer vinyl on this because it's easier to remove if it doesn't land in the right spot the first time. So I'm going to pick up my heat press and I'm going to set it. And All right, so I'm not sure how I go. You have to do okay. everything, you know? Okay. Uh, do, and this we, is all we can see. Oh, okay. Then. So can you scroll back and forth? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can scroll down maybe? Mm hmm. Do we have to go up more and like go into this maybe to maybe. keep an eye on? We're going to try to figure this all out in one night, guys, so that the rest of our videos aren't like, what night. are we doing? <laughs> so go ahead and check on that. I'll tap that. Maybe I can back out again? Maybe. No. Okay. Well, if we miss your comment, you can retype it again if, if we don't comment on that. So Marianne says, I like seeing real. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, just me. My friend does a, has a cricket, but for scrapbooking, that's, that's amazing because I really would like um, to do scrapbooking. So I'm just not good at it because I like, I get so into something and then I don't like finish it. <laughs> Tina said she only likes to weed the easy stuff. I'm with you, Tina. <laughs> I want Brandy do it. <laughs> do I take the inside of the moon out? Yes. The whole inside of the moon. Am I supposed to leave that eyeball? Yeah, it'll stay. Just, leave the eyeball. Yeah, just pick the end. Wait, this outside? The inside. Here, like right here. <laughs> just pick like that and then pull. Oh, okay. Just like. You want his eyeball? Right like that. Oh, and it's all done. Now that makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, is this supposed to be here? So, I'm going to reach over you, Brandy. I'm sorry. Okay. So, we're going to get all the quirks out, quirks out tonight. So, you guys are like, really? That's what they think. That was like as much like as <laughs> But thank you for picking this up, Brandy. Oh, you're welcome. So the next thing we're going to do, this has to cool. So this is, whenever you heat the, the glitter vinyl, it has to be a warm peel. And I think I said it before. Originally, I thought a warm peel meant hot, but it doesn't. It literally means before it gets cold and after it's been really hot and cools down. One way you can cool it down is to take, like, another heat mat and just rub it over top of it. They do make cooling, like cooling blocks that you can buy, but I kind of think they're a waste because you have other stuff that will cool it down. So I think this is ready. 
have to put it a little bit more on here. You can always no, I didn't put, cover the whole thing. Do you have to do it twice then? Yeah, you have to keep you if I had the bigger one, which I really want to get, <laughs> if I had the bigger one, it would have covered the whole thing at once. So you have to watch making sure you're getting the entire project down. And plus glitter vinyl does take more of a heat because it is glitter vinyl and it's a polyester. So it can hold a really high, high heat when you're pressing it. So just a few more seconds. I'll sweep that up later. Hey, you're good. No worries. I think you're doing a great job. I <laughs> think you. How about it, guys? Randy's doing a great job. So we're going to stop this. I think that's plenty of time. We're going to finish letting it cool. And now I'm going to pull up my heat or my glue gun here. Okay. I'm going to unplug it. Actually, I don't think I need that up here anymore. I'm going to move that down. So once this is cool, we're going to hot glue this strip onto it. So it kind of makes that like a girly, a cute little girly thing. But again, you could make any design and add fringes or just go all the way around with like a cute, like what do they call it, a base scene? Listen to me making up words like base I know thing. what I'm talking like about. Turkey. Making me hungry. <laughs> What's it called? Uh -huh. What is that called when you go around? Going around? Yeah. <laughs> I like to keep things simple. <laughs> Going around is what we're doing. Now, is this little one supposed to be there, you think? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna yeah, good job. I was just testing you. She was testing us, guys. So we're going to put this straight across, and then we're going to hot glue it down. So I got these really cool little things at the Dollar Tree that I moved. Did I put them over there, over here? Do you remember? What, what are you looking for? My little fingers. Oh, they're in your... Are they in there? My fingers. So I got these at the Dollar Tree, and they saved my fingers today because I was doing some hot gluing, and it was not good. But then I pulled these out. I was like, I'll give them a try. But they're like, they're like little pot holders for your fingers, <laughs> so you don't burn them when you touch hot things. So I thought it was pretty amazing, and somebody made a lot of money to come up with those. I'm sure. So I'm just gonna press down with my heat, my glue gun, lay it in place. And then you just press with this and like it doesn't burn your fingers. You can still feel the heat, but it doesn't burn your fingers, right? I think that's genius. So let me see. This is like a cold or it's warm. It's warm now. It's not super hot. Oh, the center's still a little hot. We'll see if we can get away with it, right? I don't want to I don't want to pull it off too soon. We're gonna let it completely cool because this whole side's really hot. So all right, and then we'll just finish gluing this down. So if you do it in sections, it's a little bit easier. And then you just use your little pad and finger. <laughs> I think it's great, guys. Everybody needs these. But they were $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to suggest you get yourself some. Especially if you work with wood or plastic that you break and have to fix with hot glue. <laughs> That's what I needed it for earlier. Okay, and then we can flip it over and we can do the back too. So it stays on. And then we'll trim those extra pieces off that we don't need. And the lady, uh, the really nice lady at um, Hobby Lobby explained to me how you need to tape the ends when you cut this. So if you buy like a bunch of this like tassel. Tassel. <gasps> Oh, tassel. That That's part? what I was looking for. How'd you get around with tassel? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Fringes. Fringes? fringes. That's what it was. It was fringes. It wasn't tasseled uh, at all. <laughs> it's all kind of the same, the same thing to me. But she said put tape on the end so that it doesn't tear and like unravel once you cut a piece off. She was a smart lady and she was very nice to tell me that because I was like, I'm just going to cut it all up. And she's like, well, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> so, all right. So now let me see if this is ready. We're going to pull these pieces down and then we're going to cut this. So don't worry about the pieces hanging off. You might be like, that looks a little janky. Like a skirt. It does look like a little skirt, right? Yeah. So we have this, but we're going to cut these off to fit. All right. Okay. When you're, when you're pulling something back like this, it's best to stay close and go at an angle. So you're pressing, can you pull my, <laughs> you pull my hot pad off. Oh, <laughs> 
you're gonna press down and pull at an angle. So it's gonna come back towards you. I'm gonna press this down. Some of it is not staying. Like Off the subject, I use, one, I use those for glue gun as well, but I also use them to play the game Carom. That's what is brilliant. That? They have these little circles, yeah. and it's like a, a big board, and there's nets in all four corners. Yeah. And you have you have green, and I'll have red, and there's a black one in the middle. Then, and we have a shooter. They call it. It's a white one, and you got to fling your shooter to hit the other ones, and you got to get your color in the pockets. Oh my gosh. I'm a Karen fan. <laughs> <laughs> you learn something new every single day, See, right? Come over and we'll play, right? We'll have to play it. Bring your glue That fingers. sounds fun. That's actually brilliant. I wouldn't have thought of that. Hey, man. That was Tina. Good, good thinking, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> See, Tina can come over. We can Tina play around the camera. and we'll play. <laughs> I told your sister, Tina, I was like, this is not sticking, but it should stick, guys. It's not the It's user error. <laughs> I promise you, it's, it's glitter. It's because it's glitter. We're gonna blame it because it's glitter. We could blame it, but that's it's me. Well, I might not be kind of sticking out of it the whole little bit. It might glitter. be because I'm not giving it enough pressure. I'm used to my pressurized, like my heat press that is pressurized. So maybe if I push down a little bit, uh, that Tina, will work. Tina's in for our game counts. Oh, okay, Tina. Like Tina, you live far away, but we'll still have you down sometime. We'll be on a team since you know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> She's it's Amanda's sister. Uh, Brown? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. I've never met her. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Tina. I was talking to Tina and I didn't know it was her. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really sorry. Like, she was like, oh, yeah, this, this. And I'm like, do you live local? She was like, <laughs> and she told me she was. I felt so bad. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, I should have known it was her. <laughs> I'm just not good with me. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to press that and we can actually start pressing yours. So your round is right here. And then you're going to put this centered up. All right, everyone, close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Yeah, just center it up. That's perfect. I knew it. You nailed it. <laughs> press it down. And then you're going to take the heat press and give us some pressure because that could have been okay. my problem. Now, if I don't fit the whole thing. You have to press it twice. Should I do this half? Half or an angle. Okay, now give it some pressure. Am I under there? Yeah, um, not all the way. Come on now. A little bit further. There you go. I'm, I'm a so you have little to, out this side. Oh, I have to hit the button. You have to hit the button and give it just some firm pressure. Because I'm thinking that's the problem is the pressure part. Tina's the better sister. Oh, are you? I won't tell Amanda. I don't see Amanda logged in here anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, Tina. Clearly you are. the better sister you for are. tuning in. That's right. <laughs> Okay, there it's sticking. Okay, I didn't give this one any pressure before. So see, it was just user error. We knew, oh, okay, wait, I might not have. <laughs> I just feel like this, like I'm helping hold the board, and then you yeah. just push it down. There we go. <laughs> see, see, that's Oh, good. it's perfect. Again, it so I didn't nice. give enough pressure on this quarter. But that's okay, because this is how we learn. But, okay, so now it we're checking it up. And then can I go right away you and do that You can go right side? away and do the other side. I'm not going to burn the middle. Nope. Okay. And reset your timer. So just hit the button there and it'll count down for you. So guys, look how cute this is. Isn't that cute? Now we're gonna trim this off. Oh, I'll go I ahead and trim this off since your finger. finger. She lost my finger. Our camera shooter went to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm like really interested in what that game is. I'm like, it what is, have I been it. living under a like a uh, hole? Yeah, apparently. In a hole under a hole? Can you live under a hole? I don't know that you I can. Mean, can you live I'm under a hole? Sure. Guys, this might just be fun. I don't know if this will be educational in any way, shape, or form. I'm sorry. We just wanted to be able to craft with you guys and have fun and just that enjoy. Is Isn't it? I like it. I'm, I'm loving it. Okay. Okay, make sure you got all the corners, the edges. By what? By Do it again? It. Yep. Make okay. sure you get all the edges because that was my I do problem. it the whole time again? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to burn it up. You're not going to burn it up. Oh, geez, well, I just let that sit there for a while. Well, huh? I mean, I don't think you should oh. do that. <laughs> now you got limits, huh? <laughs> don't listen to her. <laughs> Fire oh. department will show We're up. Sit this over here to heat for a while while we work on this. But this turned out really mm -hmm. cute. Okay, now some of these, what do we call them? Fringes, tassels. Ta fringe tassels. But look how cute that is. You might Didn't have I? a little dangle. <gasps> oh, what's you? Go back there. Let's cut that bad boy off. There, there we, go. we go. Look how adorable that is. Mm -hmm. I love the black glitter and I love the pink. 
And then if you want to hang these in like your little girl's room, I recommend the command strips. These can hold up to six pounds. This way is like next to nothing. One more corner. Yeah. You know what? Even the mini might be able to, we should do the corners with the mini next time. Next time. Next time. We're not going to make you go through all that. No, nah, that's a whole process again. But I think this one turned out super cute. I think so too. I like it. Now I would trim this up a little bit more, but I love it. What do you guys think? Give us a thumbs up if you like it. I'm not sure where I see that at, so. <laughs> <laughs> but Mary Ann says, yeah. so cute. Oh, good. Mary Ann likes it. That's what's important. Uh -huh. Mary Ann likes it. <laughs> Oh, that Marianne. was tricky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That? Definitely. If you have things like this, use the back of your, um, especially like if you're weeding and there's a lot of little pieces that like scatter. Oh, you're telling me now. I threw them all over the floor. <laughs> use, <laughs> use the back of your sticky to just kind of clean it all up real quick. That's what I do. And now, then, did you paint these white or were they white? We did paint them white. Ja actually, Jasmine Because they were like wood color. color. Yeah, they were just plain wood. Yeah. Whatever the back color is is what they were. So we're going to let that cool. I'm like, calling it right now. She's calling it right now. Look at her. She remembers. Okay, no, while, she's letting that, <laughs> while she's letting that cool, we're going to move to another project I have for you guys because I wanted to talk about removable vinyl. And, Brandy, can I have my scraper tool, please? Thanks, friend. Scraper. <laughs> so these cute little – see, look, I told you I lean over the table all the time. <laughs> <laughs> They have these cute little picture frame or chalkboards at the Dollar Tree and at Family Dollar. These are so cute. You could use these for anything. You could use these for weddings. You could use them for baby showers. You could put them in your kids' rooms as days till summer. Woo! Especially if you have little ones, it's so important that they learn to count backwards as well as forwards. Like, I don't know if that's from being a preschool teacher. Like, it's really important that you teach them so they can do a little countdown or maybe you're going to Disney or maybe you're going to the beach. Christmas. Yeah. Countdown till Christmas. And we're going to put this on here. Now I have had people reach out and say they do not like the Cricut transfer tape. I get that. I've heard that either you love it or you hate it so far. I like it, but it may make me a liar today and not, not work just because I said Cause that. Cause we're alive. <laughs> so I just place it down. And then I scrape it with my weeder, or my weeder, my scraper tool. It should be, is it cool enough? Can you touch it and it's not hot? Yeah, but the table was super this hot. It's so hot. So that's Maybe where I, I should have should have the heat mat down that I pulled out for you to use. Hmm. Well, that's all right. It's cold down now. Here so it right. is. Oh, there you go. Oh, now it's nice and cool on this heat mat. <laughs> okay, and then once I do the front, then I scrape the back. Just like this. And then I tilt from an angle. Tina says she doesn't like the transfer tape. She uses the stronghold. Yeah, see, I've never had, see, like, it just pulls it up for me. I don't know. I'm not sure. Do you scrape? I think I even asked you this now that I know who you are. I think I did <laughs> ask you this. If you scrape the back or if you hit it with, like, a heat gun, maybe, honestly, maybe if it got cold, if it got too cold or it was, like, cold out, I don't know. I don't know if it can go bad. I just think that's really odd that yours did that. But I've heard other people what say. What is your brand? Well, she's using the Cricut brand. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. so then all I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the bottom of the chalkboard. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to just scrape it. And then at an angle. Do everything at an angle. If for whatever reason, I don't know if it's science. I don't know if it's, what's that other thing in math? Uh, Angles. I'm a homeschooler and I have no clue right now. My brain won't work. Okay, but you know what I mean. The yeah. angles, angles, trigonometry. Is that trig? I can't think right now. But anyways, look. Look how cute that is. So you have this cute little sign. You can sit on little Joey's desk. Mm -hmm. And then every morning you guys can sit down and write the countdown to whatever he's waiting for. Or maybe there's a big day coming up that they're excited about. Maybe they get to stay home or daddy's coming home from work Physics. early that day. She tells us. Physics, thank you. Tina. Tina, you, girl, you got us. Thank you. <laughs> but that was removable. Oh, I might have waited too long. It kind of feels well, not see, so hot. See how it's going. See how it's going. At an angle. At an angle. At an angle. Angle. Keep your hands down. Is that yep. hot? It's not. Oh, here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. That was my brain. That was go. a bad eye. That was, like, <laughs> that was my really bad eye, guys. <laughs>
Oh, see, hers is working perfect because we learned that we have to give it pressure. Pressure. Oh, paint. my gosh, that is so cute. Give me this. We're going to use that later. Look how adorable that is. Uh, I love it. Brandy, you did such a good job. Was that to clean the floor? <laughs> no. That's for another project oh, that we're uh, going to help them. Am I putting this on top? You certainly can put okay. that on top. So that's two projects down, three projects down. This is, like, super cute. I love this idea. That was like really fun. So now we're gonna go to a. Okay, where's Marianne? Marianne, I have this project for, for you specifically. I did this. So I'm gonna show you how to use heat transfer tape. So if you ever make a mistake or a piece is hanging out and you need to cover it with something to protect it, you can't use transfer tape it will shrivel up and melt and just be a hot mess there is a way to fix your project if you do that but what you need it comes on white sheets like this it's clear heat transfer tape and it's one big piece and it's thick okay but if you don't have this like say you're like i didn't order any and i have a project that i need to work with save a piece of one that you already made not glitter don't save your glitter transfer tape just save like off of your regular marianne says oh my yeah i feel really bad for marianne <laughs> <laughs> we and i'm going to show you guys soon how to fix if you get um permanent vinyl like or heat transfer vinyl on a project that you don't want it on i'm going to show you guys how to fix that too but what we're going to do today is use a piece that we already have because i'm all about saving and we're gonna make this arrow, and it's gonna have a bunch of different strips on it of heat transfer vinyl. Is, so, is that what you linked on Amazon? I thought that was a blue tape you linked on Amazon. Yeah, I, I linked the blue transfer, the blue tape, which is, could you pull it off of, it's down in there, thank you. So I linked this. So this is heat transfer tape, but you would have to layer a lot. <laughs> Unless you just had a little section, like if you just had a small section that would fit in this, absolutely you could use this. But if you're trying to build like a big piece that you don't have, don't use regular transfer tape. It just won't work. Thank you. So for this project, I'm going to layer a bunch of different um, strips of vinyl that I've had. Um, I'll show you something. I use this. I'm going to just shove this down. Do you yes. want to lay those at an angle for me? Yes. Thank you. So Shiny side down? No. Shiny side up? Shiny side up because oh, we're geez. not cutting it. We're pressing it. Remember? Just as it is? Yep. The yellow okay. is on top. Yes. So any time that you're cutting heat transfer vinyl, it's shiny side down. Any time you're pressing it, it's shiny side up. Okay. So when I have to, normally I don't think people have this much heat transfer vinyl. I run a business, so I have a lot of extra heat transfer vinyl. So I just put it in these little scrapbook like pages, and then I do like pinks and reds, and I just keep them in order, and I save them in here so that way there, if I need a piece, I can just flip through here, pull a piece out, and I don't have to cut off of my bigger rolls that I have hanging up. I have made so many projects with, like, all of this was done with just scraps that I cut into one-inch strips. I save everything, like, except for what Brandy threw on the floor. I save everything. <laughs> that is not worth saving. <laughs> so if you get a little container and you start accumulating it, just sort it out into these little pages and... You could even keep them in a little binder if you don't have that much. You could just flip through the binder and put it in order. But I keep that as genius, Tina said. Oh, cool, thank you. I've never been called that. <laughs> Can you tell my mom? <laughs> so I'm going to put that back here. But that's how I keep mine. And then I always know where it's at. Oh, look, she did such a great job. Okay, so now this is all together. This is where I'm going to bring the heat transfer tape in so it's covering it. So I'm just gonna press it down and now it's holding it all in place. So if like, I was like, oh, I don't like that placement, I can lift it all up and readjust it. But she did fine, she had it perfect. We're just gonna re-recreate that. 
perfect. That looks perfect. That looks perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to use this. And because I have the layers on here and the wood is going to, the bare wood is touching, I am going to go ahead and put this on now that I have it. <laughs> so here we go. So we still have, a, we're using our iron on and we're still putting it on wood. So we're going to leave it set at 300 degrees for 40 seconds and we're going to press. So am I, I think I'm on the whole way. Yep. So we're just going to give it, I think this is medium pressure. I don't have one of those wares that tells us how much pressure it is. <laughs> so this is a way to use up your scraps. I'm all about using what you have, even though I like to buy stuff. What time are we? Um, 7.35. 7.35? Wow, this is going fast. Yeah. Okay. But we're getting a lot accomplished. We're, we are getting a lot accomplished. I think we're getting down there. We are. You have that one you're layering, right? Yeah, there is one that we're layering. I want to get done with you guys. I don't want to keep you real long, but I want you to definitely see how to layer with heat transfer vinyl on wood. Okay, so now I'm gonna move it. I'm just gonna actually move this closer because I wanna show you how to cut it off. So we're just gonna keep pressing and then- I'm gonna hold while you press, where you get something. Do you wanna do that? Great, yep. thank you. Medium pressure on it. Medium pressure, you got it girl. Okay, so I also have two giveaways that I wanna do tonight. So um, if you want entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up right now uh, and you'll be entered in we have two giveaways we're giving away a set of mats and we're giving away a set of pens I'll show you Tina says she's not in a hurry so we don't have to oh rush. really okay well <laughs> I also have the coloring one that I wanted to show okay well, what's the coloring one, one? The, this oh, one yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll get we'll oh do it yeah fast. you guys want to see that one I promise okay so we're gonna let this cool we sure we hit that green we did okay it's right. hot. Yes, we hit it. I don't know why you touched it without your finger protector. Okay. My finger protectors. Okay, I need a point. weeding tool. Okay. I kept it up front for you. Thank a good you, one. friend. So now we're going to do, I'm going to pull out all the little insides first because that's just easier for me because I don't know if you guys know this, uh, but I'm legally blind in my left eye. So you may have. So I have trouble seeing. Oh, yeah, you don't want to ever do that. <laughs> I am going see it here. Pretend like that didn't happen. Oh. Definitely protect your mat. Which this is the real life one, and I really like this one. Really oh my gosh, like I the really real do life. like the real I life one. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm kind of a snob to certain products. Like I do get that way. Like with crayons, I only use Crayola crayons. If somebody hands me like junky crayons, I'm like, yeah, we can't be friends. <laughs> Sorry. So maybe that comes from teaching, but I only like. I think they give the best color. And then um, I I really love the Cricut paper. Like, I'm not a big fan of the Could other you want me to paper. Help with one of those? Yeah, sure, if you'd like to. There might be little tiny pieces you'll oh, have no. to peel through. Yeah. But it'll be okay, out. right, guys? Are you guys busy? Do you mind staying a little while longer? So I, I do want you guys to know that we so much appreciate you watching this and supporting us. And I do have affiliate links through Amazon. I want to be clear. Everything we have here, we purchase. Like, nobody well, gives us money. <laughs> well, Brittany is like my full support lady. So everything that's here, we've purchased. And um, we nothing was given to us. But I do have an Amazon affiliate. And that's just kind of like how I make a little extra money on the side. Just so that it helps cover some of the costs. And all that is, is if I put up a link from like Amazon and you guys click on it and use it, I make a fraction of a percentage of what you guys order. It doesn't cost you any more, but I want to let you know that does happen whenever you use my links. And I appreciate those who do. So, oh, you're doing a good job, Brandy. Thank you. Like, at an angle. Look at you. At an angle. At an angle. That might be it. At an angle. That's like the key. It's yeah. always at an angle whenever you're doing any sort of weeding or peeling back whenever you use heat transfer or the permanent vinyl oh i did the easy ones i'm sorry <laughs> wait which one's the bottom layer can you start without me um i, I don't really guess it's mine <laughs> i i think i don't remember <laughs> i don't even know what's going on over there i have to like layer it out but it'll be fine guys really so i'm going to show you how to layer them so that you have a better idea and I'll do like a more formal video if you guys have any questions on anything that we do, because this is just kind of like a fun night Thank to you. be able to craft and give you guys ideas. 
I'm going to see if this is about ready to peel. I don't think it is. I think it's a little, well, maybe. This is, look, I'm going to do this one in an angle too. And let's and now this one's going to have multiple um, heat transfer layers because each one of the strips already had a carrier sheet on it. So that's why it's sticking so much. I hope it's not too loud by the microphone. Is it too loud by the microphone, guys? Like, I'm not really, I hope it's not making too much noise. There's a delay, I'll check back in a minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to bring a friend on, Rebecca. We want Rebecca to come on. So I that we can watch it tonight. I do too because if she's watching, she was working. we can like give her a shout out because we want her to be like our little MC so that she can do all of the like reading stuff to yeah. us and we can be more interactive with you guys and less like worky worky, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? Okay, I'm gonna press this gently, like just probably how I shouldn't be doing it. Don't don't do this. I'm just don't like, do this at home, kids. I don't have anything protecting it against the only reason I'm concerned is I don't want it to melt to my mat, but I just pressed a little pieces on. Oh, Cheryl says it's fine. We're not making a lot of mic sound. Oh, good. Thanks, Cheryl. Yeah, thanks, Cheryl. Okay, so we have one star there. We're good. Okay, so how I'm going to cut these off is I'm just going to take my scissors and trim down the sides. So it's going to look super cute when we're done, but I'm just going to go through and trim. And we're going to trim this off at like an angle because actually, you know what might work with this? I just had an idea. OMG. Your OMG. pizza cutter? My pizza cutter. You want the pizza cutter? I want my pizza cutter. So here is another cutter that I think I, sh I, I don't remember what I share with you guys and what I don't because I also teach people how to craft like at their homes. And I don't always remember who I'm teaching what to. So these are from the Dollar Tree and they're amazing. They're $1.25. And they're a roller cutter. Yes, a roller cutter. That's what it says. <laughs> and then you just like, you can just cut around things. And it's like. Are you supposed to cut on your mat? You can cut on this mat, yeah. You can? Yeah. Hmm. It's a, I mean, the machine cuts it with a blade. No, I didn't think it cuts that hard, though. What? Huh. Your, your mat's fine. I don't know. I see a spot. Do you see a spot? <laughs> Oh, I do see a spot, but it didn't cut it. It just like a spot. I'm sure. Medium anyway, pressure on that pizza was, roller. <laughs> medium pressure, people. I do want my scissors because I feel like it's not cutting this close. Do you want me to work like on that to. while you? Okay, that's what I have for here. Okay. So where are we? Okay, we're here. So I want to show you how to layer onto this cute little frame. We're gonna put a little saying over here, and it's gonna look super cute. So what I do is I lay the first any layer down I lay the first layer down and then I add the second layer and then I add the third layer and I don't know how this one goes exactly so I'm going to add it like oh I think it, oh, it goes up here now I get it no it doesn't go up there it goes this way <laughs> just kidding just kidding I don't know where the, the stars go it looks really cute in the picture though. So I have to let my brain think about how much I've cut out. I've cut out 75 shirts today and all of this. I went to work. I didn't do a whole lot. Well, you have to work outside. So that's tough. So I had a lot of cutting today. Now I'm trying to remember how everything, I think that definitely has to go that way. Oh, I need to, I gotcha. I gotcha. I need to yeah. cut this off. With what? Scissors? Another pair of scissors. Oh, thanks friend. I'll use these pretty ones. Use those pretty ones. Those are my purple ones. Okay. Know. So that piece goes there. Take it back. Oh, I'll those ones again. They are the better ones. Those are the ones I hide from my family so they don't steal them from me. <laughs> oh, do you need to cut again? I'm, I'm good. I'm used to using janky ones that because they ruin all my scissors. Yeah. Like, does anybody have that? Like, I have, I have an entire craft room full of, like, scissors that anybody can use and they always take my good ones my shears i hide i need like a they're hidden nobody can get my fabric yeah, shears. Nice. so this is how the project's going to look and i just have to pick the layers up off the table so i layer everything on the table at once and then i lay it on my project 
Now you can't press it straight from here. I just lay it on the project to make sure that it's all gonna fit. Like that. So I layer everything on the project first, make sure it's all gonna fit in the space that we have. And then I'm just gonna pick a layer to put down first. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with the blue layer because that's the one I originally started with. And I'm gonna place it down and make sure that I still have enough space for my family and laugh. Okay, and I'm gonna check it here and I do. So now I'm gonna peel this up, leave it there, and then I'm gonna press it with pressure. Medium pressure. Medium pressure. Because we know that that works, right? Medium pressure, but I don't think we need to go for as long because it's not as, um, it's not as a big area that it needs to press onto. Hey, that's turned out cute. Almost there. You're doing a great job. Isn't she doing a great job? Nobody would know that you don't craft. I know, right? right? I look like a pro. Oh, did you guys see her um, Valentine's box she made for her daughter? When this is over, scroll through the pictures. She made an adorable Valentine's box with, like, a makeup mirror and, like, it little It took makeup. me, like, two hours, though. It so was so cute. I'm not very fast at it, but I am it particular. It was super cute. I'm, I'm sure, sure she loved, loved it. it yeah. I'm sure. I don't even know if she really cared, to be honest. Well, the kids never care. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to try to cool this down a little bit quick. We're going to go. I kind of did a paper bag for her, probably. <laughs> Her daughter Paisley is adorable and fun. And a lot. And a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this and just be very careful about it because we're going to put our next layer on. That's so cute. Do you have to peel all of the, the tops oh, off? I was like, they come in a little weird. But yeah, the shiny shiny sides, kind of... all the shiny sides, all the shiny has to come off. Yep. So tell me what your favorite projects are. Do you like to do paper projects? Do you like to do um, heat transfer vinyl or um, fabric? We can do fabric with this machine too. Would you guys like to see fabric designs? Because we can do those. Yes, Brandy is great help no matter what you are doing. Thanks, Cheryl. She is. I'm a good follower, but not. Oh, she's, she's good. It was like, seriously, like God put us together. Like I knew what I wanted to do for many years and I just never had that person that like came into my life that I knew it was like, and then Brandy came into my life and my husband's like, I think she's your crafty friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just happy. He doesn't have to come out and pretend to be interested in all of my crafty stuff. Yeah. He's like, I'll pay for it if I don't have to sit and look at it. <laughs> best part well i know he's missing out. right he does he always tells me oh it's lovely what is it <laughs> or he'll say is that the way it's supposed to be? <laughs> very supportive i hear yes okay we does are gonna the cricket explorer air 2 have the ability to do fabric yes it does absolutely that was tina just tina it does and you just need to have a pink fabric mat and it needs to be bonded. So I can explain how to do that. And it, they also sell a fabric knife, like a fabric blade that you can buy. So it looks a little different. Let me see if I have it here. Yes. So the fabric blade is pink, like the mat. So it's just a little tiny, sharp, very sharp blade. <laughs> Well, what you learn on crap <laughs> night, I tell you. And it can go into your regular housing for your machine. She said, oh, cool. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, the stuff that these machines can do. I'll tell you. Okay. I'm going to press that down. It's so pretty hot, guys, but I want to be so mindful of your time and Brandy's time because, she, oh, that was really hot. I almost said a bad word. <laughs> It was really hot. Did you need your finger on this? I, I don't think I can use them with this. I was trying to be, I was trying to hurry. Don't ever hurry when you're. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. It's not worth it, guys. One time. Keep your fingers. One time I rushed. Um, I was trying to get my kids um, lunch and I was crafting at the same time and I got into a project 
And my kids are like, what's that smell? And I, I have a picture of it somewhere. I made them, was making them hot dogs and they were so shriveled up. They didn't even look like hot dogs anymore. And from then on, I was like, nope, we're not cooking while we're crafting. Uh, Paisa, our Piper has made a ramen noodle in the microwave without adding water. <gasps> oh my, oh my gosh, it smelled worse than burnt popcorn. <laughs> like worse. It was so bad. Days. That would be terrible. Days. Oh man. She's like, oh, I thought I put water in it. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, Mary Ann says, I'm so waiting for you to do a project using that suede stuff box. So? The oh, that's suede stuff? The X is silent? Yes. That's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> it is silent. From the last mystery box. Oh, I know, guys. I was super excited about getting that. And I wanted to make earrings. Are you guys interested in, like, jewelry? Because I can make some pretty slanky jewelry. Like, some cute stuff. If you guys are interested in that. Carbo. I can make hair bows, I can make earrings, I can make necklaces, I can make bracelets. bracelets. Yep, we can make all that with our machines, and I want you guys to be able to do that, too. I'm just going to randomly put these stars wherever, because I don't remember where I have them. They'll look nice the minute we put them. They will. And the whole point was just to show you that you can layer on all of this, right? So each time I put, like, a set down, I'm recovering it with the main piece Oh, look how cute that oh, is. Down. Look how cute. So if you just wanted to add some what color to a playroom. I'm with, I'm with this one. <laughs> she's going to say stupid. But she's, uh, I'm she's afraid. I'm nice. afraid. She's too nice to do that. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to press this one last time. I'm going to pull it over here. Why are you accumulating so many pulls? I know. Right? <laughs> The other thing, guys, if you clean up your station after your like, like after each project, it just makes it so much easier to move on to your yeah, next project. Right onto the floor, like right that. onto the floor. You just brush it all down the floor. Nobody ever looks There's at the floor. There's no carpet down there. We don't have to worry about it. <laughs> so, did anybody? Just Tina says she'll watch anything. You'll watch anything. Oh, what time is it? Um, it's seven fifty-two. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to like close up shop soon. Uh, you want to do the frame outside, inside thing, outside. Out, I can show um, them that really quick, but we won't finish it tonight. I'll show them the finished project with that, but we'll at least get the. Kind of explain it. Yes. Yeah. Because Brandy has to get home. She has a eh. little girl. Oh yeah. It's a school night, huh? It is a school night. <laughs> forgot. I homeschool. I don't it's, always think about preschool. that. I don't always think about that because I homeschool. Okay. Let this cool. Cool. On. All right, guys. I know we're going fast, but. We got a lot. I think we've, I think we've over, I may have overestimated our time, <laughs> how much time we have. So these, oh no, not this. Oh, wait, Brandy, oh, yeah. wait, can I get it? I got it. Someone was peeking. Is there a peeker? Okay. So these are $1.25. Please don't bump the camera, honey. These are $1.25 at the Dollar Tree and we're going to cut it apart and we're going to make this. So it's called a reverse canvas. So, and you can color it. So I just heat transferred the butterfly onto here and then I colored it with markers. So I'm just going to show you a quick video on how to do this. And then if you, you need, need to do it, no, I just need my roller cutter. Paper cutter? Yep. My pizza Amazing. cutter. My pizza pizza. cutter. So yes, I love this thing. I'm going to buy a lot more. I need to have them on hand. Okay, so all you're going to do is remove the canvas from the back of this. And I just use my pizza cutter, and I press down, Whoa. and I cut like this. I know, right? This thing is super sharp. Dang. And you just cut it off because there's staples in here, and you don't – that's no big deal because you, like, hot glue back onto it. Uh, uh, uh. Well, we want to get those corners. <laughs> we really want to get those corners. Okay. So now it should just pretty much just like peel off. You know, we're going to need to put a little trash can down there for the next time. I have time. one right there. I don't know why we didn't pull it out. I didn't know it was there. <laughs> yeah, it's down there. <laughs> well, next time, next time. <laughs> I do normally clean up after every single craft that I make. I clean up the, the scraps because I either save what's left or I throw it away. So you just peel it off of here is what you do. That's my point here. You're good. Don't hold the finger with a pizza cutter. <laughs> seen her, I've seen her in action. <laughs> I think you got on the wrong side of the stable there. There, we'll try that. So all you do is cut it off, 
there are nicer ways to do it than what I just did, but you we're guys a time get crunch. the point. Time we're crunch. in a time crunch here, and I want you guys to see this because this is so, I'm not done. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, there we go. Oh, I cut that real canvas. We need that one. Yeah, we need that piece. Okay, well, that'll be fine because we're going to hot glue over that, and they're not going to see it yeah. anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I had it closed. How did I cut with it closed? <laughs> no idea. Okay, so now I'm going to take the heat press mat. I'm going to lay this down, the canvas down, and I'm going to... Right here. I'll have I'm you know, when I was using my cutter for my Valentine's project, yeah, I was cutting so hard on this one thing I used for the backboard for the mirror. Yeah. My whole roller fell apart, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> so that can happen, but Tighten it just screws back together. Tiny. I was like, on. oh my gosh, like everything's just falling off. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to heat press to the white side this coloring piece. No. Nope, because we're keeping it high and fast. High, medium. Okay. And then we're going to give a medium pressure, and it should fit the whole way on here. Okay, so I'm just, just going to press it. And basically what this is, is just making a Am canvas that it? your kids can color. Like you can buy them at the store, but they're kind of expensive. Yeah. And if you can just make your own for $1.25. And yeah, they can paint the frame, which is fun too. You can. That's what I did here. Yeah, I like it. I painted the frame purple because that's my favorite color. And then I painted the butterfly. So, or I'm sorry, I didn't paint the butterfly. Feel it or not yet? That's so warm. That's so okay. really warm. I have to wait till it's cold? You just burn my arm. <laughs> oh, it's just. Toasty lip. Oh, I guess it feels a little wild. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I colored the um, butterfly with marker. So how fun would that be to be able to make, you know, your kids pick out their favorite whatever design on Design Space and they can color it out? Okay, so now we're going to just cool, cool, cool. Cool it off. And then we're going to peel it. Remember, you can save that, so if you ever need heat transfer tape, all you need to do is put that on a piece of, like, wax paper or something like that and slide it into your drawer or put it in your um, catch-all for your scraps. That will work, too. So now they can color it. So don't put it back on the frame until they color it because this will make it easier for them because it's laying flat. And then once they color it, you just trim it down to size so you would lay your your frame on it and they could paint the frame or you could cut out designs with permanent vinyl and put on your frame and then you just hot glue it onto the back so that's what it looks like all right guys thank you so much Wait, for do we need to peel this? oh you need to peel that all right well it's, it's it's cold now i hold it down after she burnt me with it did you see i mean that? it was a slight i don't even see a red mark anymore so. <laughs> anymore <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to peel this one. Remember, at an angle. At an angle. At an angle. If that one comes up, we're good. We're just going to go with it, right, friends? We didn't need stars. We were just, like, playing around. We're like, just kidding. Okay, so that one's off. So we did the top layer. Because you want to make sure everything's... I got that for you. <laughs> you want to make sure everything's covered whenever you're heat pressing it. Otherwise, it'll get ruined. So it just has to have a covering on it. So that one's perfect. Mm -hmm. That okay. actually is really cute. Look at that. And so look how cute it turned out from a Dollar Tree picture frame. Yep. Like how adorable. And then you could use the actual heart to lay over the picture you want to put in it. So you know the area that you're getting. So it's like perfect match. It doesn't have a glass frame, but if you yeah. laminated your picture, it would make it last. Yeah. Or you could put... um, Oh, oh like this. Yeah, you could put a... The stuff that I use for my my mats, you could put a piece of that in, cut it at the oh, same. Yeah. What's it called? The clear yeah clear cover clear cover sheets cover sheet. Yeah, yeah. like the stuff I use on my mats instead of using what they give me. That's what we meant. Yeah, one hundred percent. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We had a lot to show you. I hope we weren't too fast. Because there's like a whole pile of stuff still Yeah, we didn't get here. everything, but there's more weeks to come. You can stay over here and say goodbye. We'll, oh. we'll just let them see the fully that we are whenever oh, we show okay. up. So maybe next time we'll have like Wait, plans. the giveaway thing. Are we oh, the giveaways. That? Yeah. You're so, welcome, everyone. Thank you, because I would have forgot. Only <laughs> because I like free stuff. <laughs> so pull up and let's see okay. who gave a thumbs up. Well, we've got... 
Oh, let's see. Tina Marlene. Why? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see. Uh, can we see? Go back to 34. Ah! Do what? 34. Yes, yeah, see if we can go back to the comments. Oh, wait, do I got to go to this one? No. Don't That's wanna... just who's there. I thought you wanted to see who liked it. Yeah, but you have to... But you have to go here. They had definite is. thumbs up down here. Oh. I thought they just had a thumbs up what we were doing. Oh, did you guys just think it was a thumbs up for what we were doing? Because I don't know how they put it. Oh, my sister said goodnight. Oh, good night. I didn't even know she was there. Hi, friend. All right, let me see here. What do you want me to do here? Okay, so we just don't want to miss anybody. So right now, if you're on here, we just, we just, just want to be fair there, to make sure fine. you guys can see it. I don't know if I'll be able to see later, like, who the giveaway winners are. And then I can come back and, yeah. like, tell you, like, yeah, it was fun and entertainment. Oh, I'm glad it was entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Did you learn anything? <laughs> <laughs> at an angle, they learned at an angle. At an angle, that is true. You learned at an angle. So I feel like these people. Okay, so if you. This list liked it or laughed at us. I'm not really sure right now. So you were liking and laughing? I'm not sure. Some people, and I don't know how you even know. <laughs> You know, computers aren't my strong okay. thing. Uh, so, she's going to look into this. I am because I want I want to be fair, 100% fair with who wins. So, I think once I shut it down, I can pull up all of the comments, and then I'll look and see who gave a thumbs up. And, I gave a thumbs up. And you, she doesn't count. <laughs> I'm just she's totally trying to rig the up. system, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I totally gave up. Oh, oh. Tina, you need a press. You do. And I'm going to tell you something. I am highly impressed with the Cricut one. I, overpriced? Absolutely. But if you don't have space for like a pull down big press like like I have, that would work. Like I'm impressed with that. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I want the bigger one because I was shocked at how well it worked. But you just have to be able to push with it. Like you have to be able to give it the pressure. I have no upper body strength. I have really weak wish, wrists. Mary, uh, Marianne wants to know how often we do these. Every Monday. Uh, every Monday night, we're going to have a couple. Pro oh, I'm going to cut it way back <laughs> so I don't have to, like, talk 50 miles an hour. <laughs> so we are planning every Monday at 7 just because we want to share so, so much with you guys. So is, does that sound like a good thing? Can you guys, is, is like Mondays at 7? Because if it's not too bad, because we're busy yeah, every other of, night yeah, of the like week. every night. <laughs> every night of the week. Oh, she says it's good. Oh, good. So hey, good. It's true. <laughs> it works. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through, and as soon as this is done, I'm going to go back through, read it all, and then um, we'll do the drawing, and we'll pop right on, and we'll be 100% fair, because that's how life Yeah, for some reason, should be we have a bunch of comments, but it only shows us four, so. Yeah, at a time, so we We've lost. We've got to learn how to figure that part out. Yeah, hopefully today was, like, the day that we learned everything, so next Monday, you're not like, oh boy, what a show. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, just keep tuning in. You yeah. just never know. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen <laughs> at Crafter Support. <laughs> Okay, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you all had a fun night. I hope you are all healthy and well. And see you next week. See you next week. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yeah, I got to figure that one out. I don't right. know how to do that. I don't know why. I'm like, I know what I'm doing. Do I hit this finish one? Yeah. Does this give the option to save? Oh. Okay, here. I'll... I better not touch anything. <laughs> See, okay. I think this is, see how, because we did live from here, you see how you can see everything? Oh, and yeah. And this is, you can scan back. This is what I'm oh, used to seeing. Oh, look at that. See. Okay. So, see, and like, see, it tells us when people start watching oh. us, too. But that's just because we're watching Maybe. like they're watching. We I need something you. more like that. We probably like these people. Like, crazy. <laughs> Sorry, we don't want to lose it. We don't really know what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to go.